Texas lawmakers are outraged over a Supreme Court ruling allowing the federal government to remove that razor wire along the U.S.-Mexico border. Lawmakers are ignoring that ruling now in the Lone Star State, and they've instructed the Texas military to install more razor wire at the border, and you can see them doing that right there. Jorge Ventura is in Eagle Pass, Texas, and you've been talking to some migrants in the area as well this morning. What's been the reaction? What are you seeing right now, Jorge? Yeah, so, Marty, right now the Texas military department says that they're going to hold the line and to continue their operations inside Shelby Park. Now, take a look at the scene right behind us right now. Uh, we actually have three migrants uh, from Venezuela trying to enter Shelby Park uh, illegally, but they right now have been blocked by the razor wire that's been installed by Texas officials. And as we're speaking to you right now, Texas officials are actually installing even more of this razor wire. Now, a big difference from when Border Patrol agents were allowed at Shelby Park is we've seen it in the past where if there are migrants on the other side of of that razor wire, and then Border Patrol agents will then cut through that wire and then start the apprehension process with migrants. This is what Texas officials say they want to avoid. They do not want migrants actually to even be apprehended. They want to block any type of entry. And actually, I've been speaking with those migrants who say they've actually been on the riverbanks now for two days trying to find a way into Shelby Park. We'll take a look over here. You can see, uh, Marnie, even more of that razor wire is being installed by Texas officials. All this to deter any type of migrants coming in illegally. They're actually even installing some of that razor wire on top of those shipping containers because many of these migrants were actually climbing on top of the shipping containers and entering uh, legally. But these three migrants here are from Venezuela. They cannot find any way to enter. And if they do enter illegally, Martin, they actually will be arrested and charged by Texas DPS troopers. And this is what Texas wants to continue to do, is block migrants from entering Shelby Park. And as of right now, they still have not allowed access to any Border Patrol agents inside Shelby Park. And they say that posture is not going to change. So just to be clear, are they trying to get through the razor wire? We see them sitting there. Do they want to be apprehended? I mean, how does this end? So here, Marnie, they, they want to be apprehended. They are looking to turn themselves over to Border Patrol officials. The issue is, is Shelby Park is a two and a half mile radius. There are no Border Patrol officials. They essentially have been all kicked out. Now, what the migrants have expressed is that they have attempted to cross in other areas in Shelby Park and actually uh, have gotten injured by the concertina wire. Uh, the female migrant actually was showing us some of her cuts on her legs. The male migrant has some cuts uh, on his arms. But they say they've actually been waiting now on the riverbanks for two days. So it's unclear if they'll continue to walk uh, down Shelby Park and eventually maybe find a Border Patrol agent uh, past this uh, kind of shutdown by Texas officials. But as of right now, uh, they're, they're essentially kind of stuck. And they actually also mentioned that they can't swim back to Mexico because the tide of that uh, river current is going too fast right now. And if you actually should look over here, Marty, you actually will look at Texas officials, I mean, Mexican officials um, actually posturing up. So even Mexican officials have also stepped up their efforts in stopping uh, illegal entry. But essentially, uh, Marty, these migrants right now are stuck in limbo. And Jorge, what is Shelby Park for, for people watching and not familiar with that particular area? So Shelby Park is a public park here in Eagle Pass. It's about two and a half miles long. Now, this area, if you remember, Marnie, when we were covering uh, Eagle Pass last month, when the 2,000 migrants were crossing illegally every day here, uh, this was essentially a huge staging area for Border Patrol. So they'll have migrants here uh, stage, and that's, that's when the uh, Border Patrol will come in buses and start to transport and process. Now, when I, was, when I speak with Texas officials, they say they want to avoid those scenes. They don't want any staging here in Shelby Park. They, what they want is for migrants to know you will be blocked any type of entry if you attempt to enter here and you actually will be uh, arrested. So here Shelby Park, it is a public park, but Border Patrol has been kicked out. And so far we haven't seen any agents even attempt to enter. But these migrants, once again, will, will essentially be stuck here uh, unless they continue to walk down this riverbank and eventually find a Border Patrol agent that has passed uh, Shelby Park. But they say they've, they've been here already uh, for two days and they look very emotional right now. And you can see the cuts on the migrants' arms and legs. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.